<laughs> Welcome back to another cold horror review with me and Horror Gang. The genre of folk horror is where horror is mixed with elements of folklore and tradition. We've seen it recently with movies like Men, Midsommar, or the Norwegian found footage flick Troll Hunter. But the most famous of them all is The Wicker Man. But can it really be called horror? Well, that's a hard one to answer. It definitely does deliver a disturbing feeling and a certain shock value, but it plays out much more like a mystery thriller. It's really not what someone would expect of a horror film. The lead character character is played by Edward Woodward, who gives a terrific performance as a police officer. He is sent over to some remote Scottish island. While trying to solve the disappearance of a young girl that all of the locals say never even existed, he finds out that not only are they a bunch of crazy pagans, but that something much more serious is about to go down, but I'll let you guys see it for yourselves. The Wicker Man has been described as the Citizen Kane of horror. I disagree with that because I did find it long at times, I thought it dragged a bit, but it's certainly a slow burning flick which takes its time to create a true sense of unease, a true sense that something really mysterious is going on here. Little by little we uncover clues with the officer, which leads us closer to the truth and it makes us want to know more. And all of it adds up to a shocking ending, which has become emblematic for the film. Unfortunately, the ending had already been spoiled for me, but even so, it's still a creepy little flick which leaves a mark on you, and it's quality. Christopher Lee is in this too. He plays the demented prince of the island, and he's quite good. He even cites this as his favorite film. There was a remake in 2006, starring Nicolas Cage, and it's supposed to be absolute trash. It tarnishes the reputation of the original, which I liked. So out of respect for the horror thriller pick which came out in 1973, I won't even touch this remake. What's up guys, it's me Horror Gang again, and as you all know we're talking about The Wicker Man. Now this movie is a super, in my opinion, is a slow burn, but the payoff is worth the wait. A lot of people compare, um, Midsommar to the movie now as you can tell that this was an obvious inspiration for that for sure um, It's definitely a super weird a super uh, Suspenseful just Almost a masterpiece in a way tons of people love this film and I gotta say I'm one of them The more you watch it you pick up on stuff that you didn't realize the first time and I always love watching movies just like that any single time that I can pick up some small minute detail of something that I missed the first time, there's tons of that in the original Wicker Man. Christopher Lee obviously does a great performance throughout this entire film. Um, and the ending scene without spoiling anything, if you have not seen this movie, go watch it. But I mean, what an ending. The Wicker Man for sure is a great classic from the 1970s. And if you have not seen it, please go and watch the movie. Especially if you're a horror fan. Come on, man. Go watch it. But anyways, not to mention the Nicolas Cage remake. Uh, not as good, but if you're a Nick Cage fan, definitely watch it. He hams it up in that. As always, my name is Horror Gang, aka Jackson. Feel free to check out my channel. But the main thing to do is subscribe to Awful Movie Reviews. And shout out to Brian for letting me come on again and giving my quick little brief thoughts on The Wicker Man. Definitely a classic, but a slow burn, but worth it. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate the support. And yeah, subscribe to Awful Movie Reviews. Peace. <laughs>